I recently went back to Death Stranding as I never finished the game, and the reason I did was interesting. I've been playing old games lately, and one of them was Shenmue. No, I'm not looking for some sailors. I remembered the amazing feeling the game conveyed to players back then, and also how poorly it aged when compared to open world mechanics today. But one thing that stood out to me was the lack of urgency in the gameplay. Most games today that are open world also create a sense of player urgency. You have things to do, but you also have something that you must do, and all events point towards that. With Shemu, there wasn't any of that. You simply exist and have to find a way to progress. Get a job, talk to anyone and everyone, simply wait for events to occur. It was a true simulation of everyday life with all the tedium and mundane tasks. Death Stranding didn't have any of this, but what it did lean heavily on is the sense of openness without urgency, just like Shenmue. I found it almost a revelation that the style and template that was so new back then with Shenmue was right there in Death Stranding today. Now let's be clear, I'm not saying that Shenmue and Death Stranding are the same type of game, just that one aspect of the idea behind agency is the same. And that idea is that for some parts of the game, there simply isn't any. Take Shenmue. You are looking for a black car with men in black suits. You walk down a street and a young girl is trying to figure out how to make a kitten she has in a box eat. She tells you that the mother was run over by a black car speeding down the street. Your first clue. If you decided not to speak to her, you'd have nothing to go on by until you talked to the two older women near the phone booth who tell you about another woman who sees everything because she is always outside cleaning. But what if you didn't talk to them? It's this lack of guidance in an open world that completely removes the sense of urgency for the player. You feel lost because the developer wants you to. No red waypoint pointing you towards story progression or yellow ones pointing towards side quests. You simply exist. Death Stranding, by comparison, starts you out as a delivery man, looking to, well, make deliveries, and then forces you into one giant quest of connection. How you connect, or when and where you connect, are suggested to you, but there is really no urgency. Here's where I really made a connection that I feel is profound between the two games. In Shenmue, without urgency, you're forced to talk to every NPC, all of them. In removing any urgency, the developer makes this decision for you. You need to read the NPCs to discover a sense of urgency that isn't presented to you. You have to work for it. Death Stranding forces you to read the environment as that is the game's NPC. Highs and lows of terrain, depth of water, and the ability to traverse terrain, caves to take shelter in, all of this is what the player must read to provide the sense of urgency to the game, much like the non-playable characters in Shenmue. Of course, this is just one aspect of the games that I found eerily similar, and there are many others that simply aren't. But the long-lost development idea of taking away what was always there from the start of most games is one that I think Shenmue originated and Kojima must have been a fan of as it pushes the player not towards a goal, but towards experiencing everything to achieve a goal that is undefined for them. Ultimately, it's telling that the response to both games was mixed. Some gamers loved the games and others not so much, and most cited this perceived lack of gameplay that curiously is a form of gameplay, just one that takes, well, work. In the end, I think that I can appreciate the creation of worlds that exist and ideas of players simply digesting it all to progress rather than guidance as is the norm today. It makes for unique experiences, and in an age where everyone claims nothing feels new, it's hard to argue that when things are presented that are new, in Shenmue's case, and things that are reminding us of how new things can be in Death Stranding's case, sometimes it takes time for certain games to be fully appreciated for what they've achieved.
it was interesting being reminded that you don't always have to have everything spelled out for you in a game. You, you don't always have to be pointed to the next objective. Sometimes being lost is a style of gameplay. And sometimes working for that emergent gameplay, sometimes working for the urgency to get from one point to the other is the gameplay hook. And I recognized that DNA in Shenmue a long, long time ago, and I remembered it, and I felt it while playing Death Stranding today. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you like this style of gameplay? Did you play Shenmue back in the day? Do you like open world games that don't hold your hand so much? Or do you like this really outrageous style of open world game where it's more about the experience than it is an objective, so to speak? Thanks for watching again. Think about liking, think about subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.